Today we are gonna make an automatic shutdown cutoff for our cooler pumps. That is as soon as the water level uh, goes below a certain level, the pump will be turned off automatically. So the components that you will be needing for making this circuit. So the first component you will be needing is a 12 volts 5 pin relay. This, is, uh, this one is rated for 12 volts DC. Then you will be needing a BC547 transistor. Then you will be needing a 35 volts uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor. You can also take a 25 volts 1000 microfarad one. So this one is a 1 kilo ohm resistor and a IN4007 diode. So that's it. So let's get started. So firstly we have to take the relay and uh, then we have to take the diode here. Yeah. So I'll be soldering the diode onto the pins of the relay as shown here. So here as you can see, uh, the diode has been connected to the first and the third pin of the diode uh, relay. So the next step is to take the BC547 transistor over here. So now we'll be connecting the transistor's uh, collector leg with the diode's pin. Okay, so now you have to take the uh, capacitor, the 1000 microfarad capacitor, and uh, as you can see this uh, silver lining over here, it indicates this is the negative leg and this one is the positive leg. So we have to connect the negative leg with the emitter pin of the transistor. Okay, so now as the capacitor is connected, we need to take a 1 kilo ohm resistor. We have to connect it from the uh, base pin of the transistor to the positive pin of the capacitor. So here we'll be connecting the resistor with the base pin of the uh, transistor and the resistor with the positive pin of the capacitor. So now the circuit has been completed. So this is how it should look like. So the relay firstly has been connected with the diode over here. The positive pin goes this side. Then the uh, negative one is connected to the collector of the transistor. Then the base is connected with the resistor which is connected to the positive of the capacitor. And the emitter pin of the, capa uh, uh, emitter pin of the transistor is connected with the negative leg of the capacitor. So now we will be connecting the wires which we have to uh, feed with the input and with the power. So to power this entire system you will need to take some uh, wires to power this thing with a uh, power supply of 12 volts. So we will be uh, powering the positive wire that is the positive 12 volts to the positive of the diode and the negative to the emitter pin of the transistor over here and uh, for the input that is uh, for checking the water level you need two wires which will be soldering to the uh, base pin that is the resistor which is connected over here base pin of the transistor and the collector pin of the transistor now these two wires will go into the tank which will uh, bring the input for the system to function so now comes the time to connect the pump for the tutorial, I will not be connecting a pump over here. Instead, I will be showing a LED how it functions in the rather place of a pump. So the connections are to be made in series. That is, you have to connect uh, the wires in series to the common pin over here and the normally open pin. Um, keep in mind to uh, connect the normally open pin or else the circuit will function totally reverse. So these are the two wires that you have to connect to the uh, pump in series. That means uh, one wire from the mains will come over here and uh, the other wire from the pump will come over here. And the uh, one of the wire you have to keep it continue. So let us see the wiring in detail. So as you can see here I have connected the LED in series with a 3.7 volts battery. So the relay is acting as a switch to turn on and off this LED. In the same way you have to bring the uh, 220 volts AC mains here and you have to connect the pump in the way I have connected the LED. 
Okay, so here I have connected all the uh, wires, power supply and the uh, unit that is going to work here as the pump, that is the LED. And uh, this water, uh, the glass full of water is going to demonstrate the uh, place of the water tank in your cooler. Now, uh, as the water level rises and uh, makes the uh, both of the wires touch, uh, it makes contact with the water and the relay clicks in and the LED starts glowing. That means the pump will start functioning. And if the water level goes below and uh, the wires get disconnected from each other, the relay will click off and the LED that means the pump will stop working. Now this has a bit of time duration due to the capacitance of the capacitor. Now even if I remove the water, the LED runs for a certain time due to the capacitor and that is done for a safety purpose so that if the water level just changes like this if it shakes so it won't blow your pump in the cooler so that was all about and this can be implemented in your cooler with a bit of safety precautions as there will be 220 volts ac so you just have to be careful while working this thanks for watching the video and do attempt this only on your risk if you are a professional or you have guarantee that you don't hurt yourself thanks for watching Oh, 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 oh,